Good morning, everyone. Thank you very much for joining me. I hope everyone had a very happy, safe, and enjoyable Thanksgiving. I don't think I've done a video in about two days. There has been news that's gone on, but nothing major in earthquakes until this morning when there was a magnitude 7.0 earthquake in the Mariana Plate. Let me bring this out so you can see where this is located. Yeah, I've been talking about how earthquakes are probably going to be moving up um, towards uh, Japan. But what we ha had happened today at about 3.03 .03 a.m. Central Daylight Time was a magnitude 7.0. USGS said that there wasn't any tsunami um, warning necessarily put out. But there are three boys here on uh, NOAA.gov that are currently... I'm going to have to see if this is related or not. Let me bring this over. It looks more like off the coast of Japan. Uh, let me click on this for more details. Could be weather related. I don't know because these boys are farther north than the Mariana Islands. Um, yeah, we got just a little blip here on this one, which is that one right there. And then the other one, uh, let me bring this over. We'll click on that. It might be malfunctioning, but we'll go to more details on this one also. Let's see. Uh, there was this earthquake here, a 4.5, which was fairly deep, 43.4 miles. But we got a swarm of earthquakes going on here um, let's see 12 in the last 24 hours we got a 5.1 um, a 5.0 another 5.1 yeah and they're fairly shallow 6.2 miles in depth um, look at all the fives another 5.1 a 5.2 another 5.2 a 5.3 and yeah then the uh, 6.9 that USGS says it was, but um, according to Geoscope, it was a 7.0. Yeah, look at that. All right, I made it larger for you. I wonder if there was an undersea landslide that's not being reported. All right, here's the other boy that's going off. Look at the jump there. Let me go to its details. If I'm reading this right, there was a wave recorded of 66 feet or about 20 meters. Look at that. Yeah, you know, someone's going to get a rogue wave because they're not reporting this. Look at that. USGS is reporting it as a thrust earthquake, which are the worst. Um, but when I look at Geoscope, it looks like the fault did spread a little bit. You can see that there but actually dipped going south. Yeah. Where they have the boys that are going off, like I said, they're to the north of where these earthquakes are occurring, and none of these are going off. 66-foot tsunami. Let me bring this up, up over here. It's like, wow. Anyways, what we got going on here is the Pacific Plate subducting underneath the Philippine Sea Plate over here on the west and we got a back what they call a back arc where the um, crust of the earth the magma as it subducts down comes back up in this area and it's actually causing spreading the Mariana plate was originally part of the Philippine sea plate and eons ago it broke off became its own little micro plate and they're saying um, what's going on with these islands here is they're actually moving east because of the back arc subduction of the uh, crust of the Pacific Plate rising up, actually making this wider, even though everything is being subducted going from east to west. But this area is actually widening. Yeah. 
here we got in 1940 there was a magnitude 7.0 in 1990 there was a 7.6 um 2002 a 7.1 um, 1993 at 8.1 the USGS revised to a 7.8 and that one caused a tsunami which was a 7 foot tsunami uh, 2.13 meters which uh, caused the death of 71 people here on Volcano Discovery they said it was originally a magnitude 7.1 now Agerhan Village has a population of 20 um, the shaking was um, intensity level 5. Um, Pagan Village was an intensity level of 5. Population uh, 50. So going to Google Earth, here's that um, one island. There's the earthquake. And then we have some other smaller ones that are not listed. Okay. We got another one down here, which is Guam. I wanted to take a look at the solar flares because um, we got what one, two M class flares listed here. No, three. Um, M1.4, an M1, and an M1.1 right there. Oops, if I can get it. Okay. 1.13, um, 1.1, 1.47. Okay, and the reason I'm showing that is that there was a report put on Twitter. It says uh, 6.9 magnitude north of Guam increase in solar activity the past week. Sunspot numbers increase almost tenfold. Dozens of dark cores now present on the solar disk. Today, multiple overlapping CMEs billowing away from the sun. And I have talked about the weakening of the Earth's magnetic field, how um, we're going to have an increase in earthquakes, and um, it affects our weather, um, volcanic eruptions. So this, oh, there was a big flash there. This is from the 23rd until sometime today showing the um, solar flares yeah let me see if i can find that where it flashes on the 22nd you can see this large solar flare coming off the sun and another huge one let me go through it also on the 22nd can you see that almost looks like a halo coming off of there just amazing and on the 23rd let me play this one look at that let me bring this up a little bit so you can see it better i'll go back a little bit go forward and then there's another one down at the bottom look at that look at that yeah i would say it's highly active oh my goodness okay and then today watch this area up on the top right Yeah, and then we got multiple eruptions. Okay, I found it. I don't know if I can get it to... That was on the 22nd. We got uh, 048 and it's, it's so bright you can't see it. And then 521. All right, this is also posted on spaceweather.com. Sharp increase in solar activity over the past week. Sunspot numbers have increased almost tenfold with dozens of dark cores now present on the solar disk. It is no surprise that solar activity has sharply increased as well just today over multiple overlapping CMEs have billowed away from the sun. All right, going to the solar wind um, prediction. You can see here on the top one. Um, maybe tomorrow we're going to start being impacted by this one solar flare and yeah with the solar winds yeah um yeah you can see let me bring it down so you can see the bottom one where it's going around us see the red there 
Yeah, it looks like it erupted off the back side of the, the sun. And then that other one comes in. Yeah. So it looks like it'll start impacting us tomorrow. Let me bring this over in the peak. We'll be about there, which will be the day after on the 26th. The reason I'm showing you all this is because it's all related. All right, here we have the uh, dark spots on the sun, the magnetogram of, of um, the surface of it. Yeah, you can see here the sunspots too. Yeah, it's all going to be earth directed. So we had a break for about two days, but it looks like, uh, yeah, we're going to have an increase in activity. Here we have another image of the sun currently. Yeah, there's that dark spot. There's the activity. Yeah. All right, and if you look at the time of the KP index, when that earthquake occurred, yeah, right there at the end, when it was um, all the way up to 5, it looks like. Yeah, right there, yeah. Just more evidence of how these solar flares do affect the Earth. Yeah, earthquake, volcanic eruptions. Yeah, we've had uh, um, new eruptions there in Guam. It was the last one that I reported. So let me play this again, yeah. We got some tremendous solar flares heading our way. Just amazing. More earthquakes, adverse weather. Yeah. So there are no tsunami warning for this one, but they got some rogue waves coming probably from a landslide that happened up over here. Yeah, someone's going to get hit that they're not warning people about. Remember recently where I believe it was Brazil? They had three supposed rogue waves that hit their coastline. It's still surprising to me when people see the ocean going out, they go rushing out to the ocean to see what's going on. That's always an indication that you got a, a tsunami of some sort. Um, a heightened wave alert should be posted, but people just don't know. Yeah, they think it's, oh, no earthquake happened. This is fascinating. Let's run out there and look and see uh, what's going on yeah, with the water receding from the beaches so far. Yeah, and you should be heading away from the beaches, and they don't do that. Yeah, sending prayers to these people. It may not be a large population, um, but still, any loss of life is tremendous. What are your thoughts? Please put your comments down below. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. As always, be prepared. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye. Thank you.